Chicken man, get in there. Peck, peck Hera's foot, chicken man. <laughs> just peck the foot. That's what you're supposed to do as the chicken. Just peck away. What is going on, everybody? Welcome to Oaklo's The Omega Expansion. I'm your host, the Birdman. Notice Falcon. Um, a lot of you might be familiar with this game already. This came out late last year. It's a game I wanted to actually cover. Unfortunately, at the time, I got I had no extra time to actually, you know, fit into the schedule, so I missed out on it. But today, we're checking out a brand new free, mind you, always a really good number to hear, I'm sure, a free expansion called the Omega Expansion, which is supposed to balance a lot of the gameplay, add a bunch of new heroes and a bunch of new enemies and gods and boss types and stuff like that. So, I figured this would be the perfect time to finally check this out on the channel. Uh, this is not a series per se, but if you enjoy it, let me know and maybe we do some more of this going forward. As the Titans before them, the mighty Olympian gods kept mankind prey to their whims with the utter disregard for common politeness until... Oh, no good. Crush those people. We're being oppressed by the gods. Until we said enough, apparently. Not just oppressed, but we're literally being crushed by the gods. Alrighty, so let's get underway over here. This is gonna be our character. This is gonna be essentially... This is a, um, a perma-debt game, by the way. If you die, you gotta start all over, so you better not die. And how you die is by your dude over here dying, so... The enemies will, for the most part, always want to come after you. Um, right now I'm recruiting a bunch of people by walking into them. These will be all different type of um, civilian classes, like you have like slaves, regular civilians, you'll have like soldiers that um, focus more on attack power, some att uh, focus more on defense and stuff like that. But all these have different abilities and you also will be able to trade them down the line for um, different type of heroes that will actually increase your potential down the line as well. So, right now we have picked up everybody in this map available. So, let's go to choose your heroes. We're, well, oh, choose a hero. Yeah, let's do that really quickly here. And this will be based on what you've unlocked. And as you progress with the game, you will unlock more and more different stuff. Thus far, I have two heroes unlocked. I have Baron Munchausen. He boosted one random stat by 40%. And we also have Aeneas. He made the, the mob invisible by two enemies until they attacked. Oh, really? So, it's kind of like a stealth attack. Um, that's not too bad. I kind of like the idea of one random stat by 40% though. So I'm going to pick um, Baron Munchausen. And we only have one mob leader right now, which is the Philosopher. So let's go ahead and uh, click this over here. And where's um, our dude? There he is. Okay, he's going to be our hero going forward. And let's get underway over here. Any more people to recruit? No? Okay, let's start. So at the moment, we have a 16 of 25 mob. 25 is going to be our capacity, obviously. I am trying to remember what Delphi was like. Does that mean you're loading? <laughs> the game is actually, it's quite witty. That means it's loading. Alrighty, so right now I want to pick up dudes that will do some attack damage so I can pick you guys up over here. You are mostly just regular combatants. Oh, we had big dudes, alright. Let's come after them. So for the most part, what you will notice here is that most of the enemies will come after me straight up. If I go down, it is game over. Perma dead, as we mentioned. But you can actually just um, guide your troops this way. And you can also set up like a wall like this where it's like, hey, defend me. Let me let's show this off really quickly. So we're in defend mode. Oh, and they're just going to push through. But that's kind of like a way for you to kind of like maybe avoid um, ranged attacks right now. Since we're just dealing with melee, it's not really too useful. But for ranged attacks, it is very useful indeed. Now, as we're over here just running around killing these enemies, these followers of the gods and the deities, we can actually wreck the environment around us too, and this will actually unlock a bunch of little extras and buffs and stuff like that. I'm not going to do that completely just because if I start breaking one thing, I feel like I need to break everything because of my OCD. So, um, but keep in mind, the area is fully destructible, and you can find some really good goodies doing that as well. And we're done with the first level over here. Not too tough, not too expected. Um, there's a bunch of you over here. I would have loved to recruit these guys over here, but unfortunately we are already capped off. I don't think there's a way to get rid of my dudes anyway, to my understanding, other than dying. I mean, there could be, but I'm not really too familiar with the game. Um, let's see what we have over here. Here we'll be able to trade a couple of our heroes for unlockables. So, luckily for us, all the trades available here are going to be 10 of this class, which we have 13 of, which is great. And we can now pick up a new hero. We have... Mitridates, we have Memnon, and we have Minos. He boosted the mob capacity by 10? Ooh, that's very good. He boosted the morale by 25% and attack by 10%, but lowered speed by 10%. I don't really want to go slow, but that's not too bad right here. 
And this guy poison enemies and increase mob capacity by 5. Poison could be very good if it stacks up over time. This one and Minos sounds very good, man. But I'm gonna go with Minos just because it means 5 extra people to possibly trade down the line, so... Let's see. You can ask him anything about how he ruled Crete, or even about when he was a judge of the Underworld. But refrain from asking him about the time his wife gave birth to a Minotaur. <laughs> you know, he got cucked by a Minotaur, what can you do? Alrighty. Let's go ahead and continue forward here. Oh, we have a different class. Oh god, we have a, a bird that's feasting on my person. Get that bird. Bird, how can you do this to me? We, we are part of the same tribe in a way, you know? Okay, so now, let's see, we still need to recruit a couple of extra people. Oh, we have range attacks happening now, too. Those will be slaves. I'd rather avoid the slaves. Let's see if we can pick up... Here we go, you guys. You guys will be very good combatants. I'm not sure what these pots are, but I do know that it actually does damage me over time, so we should probably get rid of them because of that. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy, range attacks. Bring down little fish market, too. Oh! Oh, come now! That is some picture per- oh, we got poison. Oh, that is some picture perfect accuracy in that motherfucker right there! Alright, guys, get in front of me, please. We need to get rid of this mage who's uh, sniping me from across the level. Oh, here we go. Yeah, yeah, let's pick you guys up here. Oh, boy. I, I recruited that guy just in time to take that shot from me. I'm a mighty ruler, aren't I? Well, I'm not really a ruler, but I mean, technically speaking, I am commanding these people now, so I'm like, they're, they're human. God, okay, we have a huge dude here. Pile it up, guys. Got a lot of HP, the scale of this. Okay, come on, come on, get him. So, we have to worry about our morale. Morale starts dropping when we start losing a lot of people, but right now, that wasn't really too tough. Oh, he he actually teleported, he did. He's over here now. Go, guys! This guy has a ton of HP. We can pick up at least seven more dudes, which we should try to look after, but let's actually just bring this guy down first, and then we'll go and recruit, because I know there's a bunch of... Oh, God damn it! stop teleporting so much, you jerk. He's almost down. We got him! We have a new entry added as well. Very cool. So let's see here. Um, we could recruit 13 more people. I'm not sure we have 13 people here on the stage, but we'll give it a try. At this point, we can't really be picky about who we're picking up, so whoever's just freed up, just pick them up for now. Let's do some running. Bring this down, too. No goods there? No. I haven't shown off the special abilities just yet because we haven't picked up anything just yet, but there are special abilities. You just have to find the items for them. And I think we're missing a dude down over here. Dude? There you go, we got him. Okay. Onwards we go. Do we recoup HP somewhere? Not sure about that one. I think we don't. Unless we pick up, like, an item. There's an item that lets you recover HP, but we haven't found it just yet. So who do we have here? Trade units for units. Oh, so we're doing a straight trade up of units. No heroes this time around. But, we could trade five slaves for five warriors, which sounds very good to me. More attack power, so we'll pick up the warriors over here. Oh! Okay, that guy? Annoying. This guy will self-destruct on you. He will basically try to find you and blow up on you. He's like a fucking kamikaze dude. Um, which worries me. That, that guy scares me more than anybody else in this game. Um, so... I hear... I hear beeping. Luckily for us, as long as we trigger them and run, they should kill themselves. So that's the that's the trick right there. Just trigger it and run. Now let's recruit a couple more people here. 35 to 35. Get away. Let's get away. Let them blow themselves up. We don't even have to deal with that ourselves. Alrighty. More over here. Oh! Run, men! Alright, he's doing a number on our people that get left behind, but it's okay. In case you're wondering, the... Ooh, we have a... We got ourselves a pickup. This is gonna give us, um, we could summon phantoms for combat with that pickup right now. Which we'll try to save for, like, a, a boss fight or something. Run, man! Oh, in case you're wondering about the animals, they actually don't count towards your mob number. They're just there to be cute. That's literally what the tutorial tells you. They're just there to be cute. Oh, we're done here. Okay, cool. So, we'll pick you up. Ooh, what is this? Whatever this is, I could enter it. Should I do that? I really don't know what that is, and I'm curious about it. Let's give it a try. It's like a boss challenge or something. Oh god, what have I done? This is a boss challenge of some kind. The Delphi Oracle! Time for a big fight! And then the mob faced a new rival, the Delphi Oracle. It was prophesied that one day it would be crushed by an angry mob. 
or the other way around. Prophecies were always so confusing. Um, I really feel like it's gonna be the other way around, because I, I don't think I was ready for this shit just yet. Okay. Okay. This is gonna be like a, a like a shoot 'em up type of thing, right? More than likely. All right, let's get rid of all the small combatants first. I'm gonna save my. Oh, can I bring down these? Um. <gasps> oh, you can. So you bring down his defenses by bringing down the totems. Gotcha. I'm gonna save my my power up until we actually go after the boss himself. Now we're moving slow because of the terrain. This ground makes us very very slow, which is very annoying. So what I'm going to focus on right now is just bring you! No, no, not the bird! Bird, why would you do this to me? Bring the bird down. He must die. I'm sorry, bird. You brought this on yourself, though. All right, other totem. More totems. Bring them down. Very cool. Mage, what do you want, huh? Oh, you're, you're coming after me solo? Look at the balls on this guy. Sucks to be you, my friend. Okay, keep going. Keep, keep it going. Okay, he's freed up now, I think. Oh, he's, he's, he's just dead already? That's all I had to do? Oh, well, I was freaking out for nothing then. <laughs> all right, cool. Oh, we got a, a dude here. Help? How do I help you? Just break it open, guys. Oh, we got a new hero. I Einsteinos. Oh, Einsteinos, really? He increased the random stat by 25% each level, but at the same time lowered another random stat by 10%. Einstein, what are you doing? Everything is relative, even the presumed utility of my ability. <laughs> well, we got a random stat, but something else was dropped. That's okay. We got a new hero, and that was actually a lot easier than I thought it would be. I thought we had to fight like a boss or something. But a boss fight is indeed coming up, I want to say. Um, we could also recruit three more people, which we tr shall try to do so. Let's avoid that rotten meat over here, guys. Don't pick that up. It's going to hurt us. Okay, we're good to go. Let's go. I still haven't used my summon phantom thing. I will use that with the boss fight coming up. Um, so over here we have um, trade units for heroes. T ten warriors for Prometheus, five slaves for Tesseragro, and five of these dudes for Philip II. He boosted mob capacity by five, he could carry multiple items, and he constantly dealt damage to enemies near her. He and her? A little bit of confusion there, game. But yes, I... I oh. I'm not sure this is a good idea with the boss fight coming up, but we have speed. Our defense is low, but our speed is really high, so that's going to be based on the heroes we picked up thus far. Uh, Prometheus, I like the idea of this, but I'm trading 10 of my damaging warriors for this. Let's give it a try, why not? Prometheus, he constantly dealt to all enemies. N stop it, you stop that. He already gave the fire to humans, now he will give it to everything that it moves. <laughs> oh, he'll give it, alright, alright, come on Prometheus. I traded three ample warriors for you. Oh god, what do you have? Oh yes, it's um, Hera. And then the mob faced a new rival, Hera. Jealous and vengeful. We hate her too much to do a proper encyclopedia entry. That's a lot of hate right there. That is a lot of hate indeed. Now remember, we are low on um, warriors right off the bat, so I really don't think that was a good idea for me to do that trade, but we'll see. Now Hera is going to summon random dudes. It's not a boss, it's not a really hard boss fight, but it's gonna just take a while. And we also wanna keep away from the purple um, ring. That's gonna, that's gonna make our people depressed, and thus they will actually leave, they will leave my mob. So you constantly have to recruit them over and over while taking care of the mages over here. But yeah, we're gonna be losing people over and over because of Hera. Or her little effect anyway. Uh, where are the rest of my dudes at? I'm gonna use my no, actually no, no. Don't use the summon thing until we have um the, everybody gathered up, and then we'll go after and use the summon ability we have, which we lost momentarily too, because my dude that had it actually withdrew from combat. No, no, no! Stop being depressed, guys. Right, let's go for it. So here we go. Use um four, which is summon phantoms. There you go. Keep summoning phantoms. Get over here, Hera. Just keep going at it, guys. Keep going at it. No! Stop making him depressed! Prometheus, get close. You my, you're, you're, my, you're my dude over here, Prometheus. You bring the fire. You bring the fire to Hera. Let me recruit you again. We're, we're being for- oh, I was gonna say, we're being fortunate enough that she's not summoning um, her, her little minions too often, bud. So much for that. God damn it. 
stupid effect. Prometheus, where you at? I see you burning down. Oh, that was actually Prometheus. That was um, a fireball from one of the enemies. Chicken Man, get in there. Peck, peck Hera's foot, Chicken Man. <laughs> just peck the foot. That's what you're supposed to do as the chicken. Just peck away. Oh, God. That was, um, area of damage that we just took right there. We should probably book it when she's doing that, huh? Yeah. Alright, so purple is gonna be depression and then, or morale loss anyway. And then when she does that, that's damage, so we gotta move back. How's her minions? We're at 12 or 35. This is not looking too good. I. I'm a moron. I'm just a moron. I'm gonna probably have to rely on Prometheus alone after a while here because we are losing people too much. I'm telling you right now, I don't feel like that 10. Warrior trade for Prometheus is worth it right now. Because we have lost a lot of attack power. Alright, we have random dude over here. And I don't think we always oh, a couple of people. Let's just go over here and recruit people momentarily. Maybe we could break some stuff over here for some extra goods. We could definitely use a couple of boosts here. Not really happening though. Minions over here. Okay, we have a defender of some kind. Come on, fellas. 12 of 35. Let's come down this way here. Yeah, get, get rid of him. Get get rid of him! Okay, well, let's go again. I mean, this is gonna be a very close one. We're not too far off. The depression is gonna really be annoying, but as long as we keep going at it... No, we're losing too many people. The damage isn't really too high. No! Alright, let's go back to recruiting here. Recruits, recruits, come on. Back at it, people. No rest for the wicked. Okay. She's got a minion of some kind over there, and we have... There's one random dude back over here. My friend, can you not hide behind that thing? Well, do you not want to revolt with the gods with us, or what? I'm gonna remember that. I'm gonna remember that, my friend. And we will bring him down eventually. I'm not letting you into our party. Okay, okay, come on, come on, come on. We're, we're so close. Oh, we lost so many people. Oh, Prometheus, please help. <laughs> Prometheus, summon a skill of some kind that's gonna help us out here. Alrighty, let's see. Lots of minions. We're so close, man. Like, if we lose it at this point, it's gonna be really annoying, but we're so close. Okay, where's she at? She's down here. Get rid of this mage. Get rid of you. Hera! Stop depressing them. Come on, guys. Prometheus, burn. Prometheus, burn. No, it's okay, just hang out. Just hang out, you guys are there. Oh, the damage the output is so low. Don't turn my people into chickens. We got her. Oh, <laughs> that was a very close one. If I had a chance to do that all over again, I would not trade those 10 heroes for Prometheus. Not worth it. I seem to remember that episodes was something like this. I... And here is Ephesus. But there you guys have it. This is, um, oh, close with the Omega expansion. As I mentioned, this is probably something you're already familiar with if you played this before. But there's a bunch of new levels and bosses and um, hero types that you actually unlock as you progress further and further. But I'm giving you guys like a little bit of a feel as to what the game is all about in case you missed it the first time around. All the information down below will tell you how to pick this up. Really fun game. If you want to see some more, do let me know. And maybe we'll continue this a bit further. We'll see. I will catch you next time.